Hello everyone. Let's talk about uh, variables and the data types in R in this lecture. First, what is a variable? A variable is a factor that can have changing values. For instance, in the mathematics class, you create a variable called the x and give different values to this variable x. This slide shows everyone how to create the variables in R. You have two options to create a variable. Let's talk about them one by one. First option. On the left, you have a, a variable name. For instance, in this case, I create a variable called uh, my variable. On the right, you have the value for this variable. In the middle, you have a combination of a less than sign and a, a small dash. This means you want to give the value on the right to the variable on the left. The second option is very similar. On the left, we have the variable name. On the right, we have the variable value. In the middle, we use a single equal sign. This also means you want to give the value on the right to the variable name on the left. You can choose either of these options to create a variable in R, but in practice, we prefer the first option. Creating a variable is very simple in R, but uh, we have to remember some rules when we create a variable name. First, variable names are case sensitive. For instance, I have uh, two variables in my program, my variable and uh, my variable. In R, they are considered different because the m in the first my variable is in a lowercase. The m in the second my variable is in a uppercase. They are considered different variable names in R. Variable names are case sensitive. Second, we cannot use any white space or special symbols in a variable name in R. For instance, some developer want to be cool, so they create a variable called uh, what dollar sign up. This is considered invalid in R, because dollar sign is a special symbol in R. We cannot use it when we create a variable name. Some other developer want to create a variable called uh, good at eight. The at symbol is also a special symbol, so we cannot use it in a variable name. The third rule is we can use numbers, English letters, period symbols, or underscores in a variable name. However, when we create a variable, we cannot start with a number or an underscore in the variable name. Please remember these rules when you create variables in R. Now I want to give everybody about a minute to think about this exercise. According to the knowledge we just learned, which variable name is valid? Let's think about it and then we'll talk about the answers one by one. The correct answer should be option D. This is the correct answer. So some classmates may have a question about ABC Let's talk about them. A, it is against uh, the rule because it starts with a number. We cannot start with a number when we create a variable name. What about option B? We have a special symbol dollar sign in the variable name. This is against the rule as well. What about C? C starts with an underscore. This is against the rule. We cannot start with an underscore when we create a variable. We just talked about how to give a number to a variable name. What if I want to give some textual data to a variable? Can I do that in R? The answer is yes. In R, we call letters, words, symbols, or sentences string type values or character type values. If you want to give a string type value to a variable, you must include 
letters, words, sentences, or symbols by either single quotes or double quotes. This slide shows everyone an example. I created a variable called uh, my favorite quote. And then I want to give the quote no pains, no gains as the value to this variable. Notice that I use two double quotes to include the value. What is the purpose of the less than and small dash in the middle? Yes, we want to give the value on the right to the variable on the left. Some developers forget to use the double quotes or the single quotes to include the string values. This is considered incorrect in R. Remember, we must include the string values by single quotes or double quotes, and then we can give the value to the variable. There is a third type of variables we use frequently in R. They are called the logical variables or blend variables. A logical variable can only have uh, two possible values, either a true or a false. Notice that every letter in true or false must be in upper cases. We cannot use lowercase true or false as a value for a logical variable. Some classmates may say, since a logical variable can only have two possible values, can I use yes or no, good or bad as values for a logical variable? They are invalid in R. We can only use either a true or a false. If you use yes or no, good or bad as a value for a logical variable, they are considered invalid in R. So these are the invalid usage of logical variable. Some classmates may have a question. What if I'm given a variable? How do I know what type this variable is? In R, we use the class function to tell what type the variable is. This slide shows everyone an example of using the class function. We created a variable called a variable and then we give a false as a value to a variable. Basically, a variable becomes a logical variable. And then we just put a variable into the class function. R should be able to tell us what type this variable is. Let's try this in R. Let's go to the R software. First, we want to type in a variable and then we give a false as a value to a variable. Next, we want to know what type a variable is. So we put a variable into the class function. And then our software tells us a variable is a logical type variable. This is how you create a variable in R give uh, different values to the variable and differentiate what type the variable is.